I got a nice puff ball here. First thing I do when I see a puff ball, I usually get excited, but when I'm still in the woods, I make sure to check it out and see if there's bug damage. I just take my field knife. You can see I've already trimmed out the root that has the, the dirt on it where it's attached to the ground. And then inside here is where I've carved out with my knife any areas that I see that have a little bit of tunneling. Because if you don't get that out, the bugs will keep going in your fridge and then you're gonna have a puff ball full of worms. As long as it's nice, pure white, and feels like firm styrofoam, and it's not too big to put in my car, I'll take it home. Next thing that you'll wanna do is peel it. You don't have to peel it right away. Uh, I mean, if I bring these into the restaurant, I'll let them sit like this because the coating, you don't wanna eat it, but it's gonna kinda of preserve it. So you're gonna get a little bit longer of a shelf life. Uh, the mushroom flesh that you're not gonna eat, or the mushroom flesh that you're going to eat, this stuff on the inside, it's not gonna dry out because this is gonna keep it good. So to peel it, take a nice sharp knife. You want a big, long knife for these guys because they don't really like to slice. and I'm gonna cut them so that I can inspect the middle too. So if there's any yellow, or if there's any green at all, or if you see a whole bunch of tunneling, it's usually gonna start from right here. Remember, that's why I took that part off. It's gonna go right here first. This is where you're gonna have your bug damage. So this guy, I mean, I knew it was good, so that's why I'm showing it to you. This guy is solid. He's nice and white, and we have no discoloring. So. This part's kind of fun, is you just peel the guy. And it'll kind of come off, it's a little bit leathery. It's pretty cool. And I just peel it, peel it off. And then I've seen people really mess these up trying to slice them. Like I said before, you want a nice, long knife so you can get as clean of a cut as possible. Let's get this guy peeled quick and I'll show you. It doesn't take too long. So depending on how big your pan is now, or whatever you're cooking them in on the grill, whatever, you can slice it for whatever you need. So you want nice long strokes. If you want to do a big classic fried puff ball, you want a nice even piece. So I'll just kind of get in as clean and as long of strokes as possible. And now I'll cut myself a slice of puffball. About half an inch might be the best I'm going to get. We'll see. My knife's pretty sharp. That's not bad. And then I'll get a whole bunch of butter together. I'll fry this guy up, or I'll bread him, or I'll grill it and pickle him. I love these things.